Joining us today for Primetime Local News is Tyler McMurchy. We are here to speak for a year-end interview to see how 2021 was for SGI. Thank you so much for joining us today. You're very welcome. To start off on a positive note, what were some highlights that you remember that you would like to share that happened through 2021? Yeah, definitely. There was a, a number of uh, things that I think are, are quite memorable and, and unique in the in the custo- uh, in the company's history. One of the, the things that I think was a highlight for not just the company, but for many people in Saskatchewan uh, was the rebate program that we did in the spring when uh, we issued $285 million in rebates to uh, SGI's uh, customers. Uh, more than 700,000 checks were mailed out um, over the course of a number of weeks uh, back in, in May. And it was a very massive undertaking, a very big program, uh, because we had to identify who was eligible for these rebates and how much they would calculate how much everybody was getting and everybody got a, a kind of a unique total based on the number of vehicles, snowmobiles, trailers, uh, motorcycles they had registered uh, over a, a given period of time and, uh, and then calculating a rebate that they were uh, then going to be uh, mailed. And so that was a, a very massive project for the company, but also one that I, I think delivered a lot of happiness to people when they're getting a check in the mail. And now for the opposite of that, of course, what were some of the challenges that you remember that SGI had to go through and had to overcome through this past year? Uh, Yeah, absolutely. I mean, I think everybody was dealing with COVID-19 in in some way, and uh, SGI was no different. Um, You'll recall, particularly during 2020, we had our driver testing affected by by COVID-19. We had to shut it down for a time and then bring it back in a staged um, in, in a staged way. And, and uh, that resulted in, in a, something of a backlog. And we, we were also delivering tests in a different way uh, with a, a trail vehicle method that uh, um, kept customers and, and our employees uh, separate in separate vehicles, but also reduced our capacity. So, you know, ramping up that was, a, was definitely a, a, a challenge. And then even when things got kind of got back to normal, having the, the employees back in the uh, in the vehicle with the customers. We're still kind of dealing with that a little bit. Uh, we were uh, trying to address that backlog that had built up. And then, of course, most recently here in 2021, COVID-19 uh, and, the, and the fourth wave that was uh, occurring in Saskatchewan necessitated us uh, bringing in a vaccination uh, or negative testing requirement for any customer who wanted to uh, take a road test. And so that's something that uh, continues. And we um, uh, certainly appreciate our customers' patience on that. Uh, we know that a lot of customers were looking to get road, uh, maybe road tests earlier than they were able to. Uh, we've addressed the backlog, but are still uh, dealing with the uh, uh, effects of COVID-19 in many ways. And I know we wouldn't be able to get an official number just yet for the statistics when it comes to Saskatchewan drivers for this year, but how would you say it's been for, you know, fines, uh, injuries, accidents for drivers throughout 2021 compared to previous years? I will say that we have um, come a long way in Saskatchewan, and we've talked about this on numerous occasions, uh, Shelby, about uh, how we've improved when it comes to uh, the big traffic safety uh, problems in this uh, in this province, particularly impaired driving, distracted driving, uh, speeding, um, th- those uh, those behaviors that that do lead to a, a number of people losing their lives or being seriously injured. Now we have seen really great uh, strides over the past decade um, when it comes to the numbers of people who are losing their lives or being seriously hurt, or the number of collisions overall that are are being caused. Uh, and we don't expect that we're going to see a massive uptick in 2021. So that's, that's good. But we do know that there is still work to do. I mean, when, when we're talking about, uh, you talked about offenses as well. And offenses uh, sometimes don't always track the same way that collisions do. Because uh, sometimes when, you know, offenses uh, are being recorded, it's because police are out there enforcing and that enforcement leads to fewer collisions, if that makes sense. But uh, we do see still a a, a high number of offenses when it comes to things like impaired driving. Every month we're seeing an average of more than 400 impaired drivers uh, caught on Saskatchewan roads and that's too high. I mean, the fact that uh, there's strong enforcement um, is is one of the reasons why we're seeing those numbers, but police wouldn't be catching those impaired drivers if they weren't doing it. So that's something that uh, we need to continue to work on and, and deliver that messaging about, about impaired driving, but also distracted driving as well. We've seen those uh, offense numbers start to creep up again, 
as well. And I don't know that necessarily we're going to see a, a huge uptick in the uh, number of collisions, but there are still going to be a, a, a fair number of collisions, injuries, and unfortunately fatalities caused by distracted driving. And, and you know, it doesn't take much for a driver to head out on the street and find uh, and see somebody else in another vehicle beside them uh, on their phone. So we know that distracted driving is still a concern and uh, we're going to continue to uh, talk about it uh, in the coming year. Are there some plans for SGI for next year that you're looking forward to and what people should know about? Well, we are going to, if we're talking about that traffic safety focus in particular, we're going to really uh, be speaking a lot about the big four, you know, impaired driving, uh, distracted driving, speeding, and of, and of course, seatbelt use. And because it, unfortunately, and we've talked about this uh, in the past uh, year as well, uh, Shelby, about seatbelt use, still kind of a concern here in Saskatchewan. We're still seeing too many people injured or killed as a result of not wearing their seatbelts. And, and seatbelts have been the law for a number of decades now. So that there's no reason that should be happening. And so we're going to work with partners as well. Over the past year, uh, one of the highlights was uh, working with so many different organizations, whether it's MAD or uh, STARS Air Ambulance or the uh, um, Saskatchewan Safety Council, uh, just organizations like that. Now, of course, law enforcement throughout the province, uh, RCMP and all the municipal police forces, Saskatoon, Regina, P Prince Albert, Moose Jaw, Estevan and Weyburn, you know, those are strong partners in our traffic safety efforts. And we're going to continue to work with them to uh, drive that messaging home and let people know about what the consequences are when you disregard uh, your obligations as a driver and, and what traffic safety is supposed to be, because there's not only strong legal consequences, of course, and uh, you don't want to uh, pay an expensive ticket or uh, be faced with a, a possible um, you know, criminal code charge, depending on the offense. But you also want uh, people to understand the human cost um, when uh, traffic safety is disregarded because unfortunately people do lose their lives and are seriously injured um, every year, every month in Saskatchewan, we record you know, fatalities and, and injuries as a result of uh, traffic safety. And many of those collisions that resulted, that, that uh, caused those casualties uh, are avoidable if we just uh, kind of obey the basic rules of the road, our basic road safety, uh, you know, habits and uh, have some consideration for other drivers, not driving distracted, uh, not driving impaired, doing up your seatbelt and, and obeying those posted speed limits. Perfect. Well, once again, thank you so much for giving me your time today, Tyler. Well, thanks so much, Shelby. It's been a pleasure talking to you throughout 2021. And I look forward to talking to you uh, throughout uh, 2022 as well.